we weren't around Hollywood, I have to say. He he um, he kept the two things pretty separate. Yeah. Um, I, think, I can't really remember being on two film sets of his uh, where he made a movie called Orca in Malta. Uh, but he, he he didn't he didn't mix it up. He he kept those two, those two worlds separate from us. Um, I, I think mostly because he didn't want us to get influenced by it and have it turn our heads in some way and you know have a chance to make a rational, sensible decision about what kind of career you'd follow. Right. Fortunately, it didn't work for any of us. Let you decide uh, <laughs> yeah. to become an actor on your own. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And then at that point, was he supportive and, and helped you? Uh... He initially wasn't, I have to say. <laughs> um, um, I started to get interested in acting when I went to Duke University. And my mother had come to see me in a few plays and said, you should really go down and see him. He, you know, he's, he's good. And he said, yeah, well, you would say that. I mean, he's, you know, you're his mother. Uh -huh. uh, he said, no, no, he's, he's good. He said, yeah, no. Um, and I did a play there after I graduated. I stayed over one summer and he came down to see me. And I'd also made a movie and he was going to come down and see this film that I made while I was a college student and then look at the play. And he was going to tell me, be a director. Uh -huh. Then he saw me in the play. And I can remember really clearly the f I can hear him laughing the first laugh you, you that I got out of him on stage within the first couple of minutes of mm. being on stage and it was just such a thrill you know yeah uh, and I look at his face afterwards when I saw him after the play and he was really excited yeah and uh, he's like wow you, you've got it you've got it and um, and it was I think it was he was excited because we had something in common, you know, that a different, new thing in common that we could share and talk about. And from that point onwards, he would talk about, with me, he would talk about plays that he'd seen, performances that he'd seen, he'd, he'd act them out. I mean, I, he reenacted Olivier's um, Titus Andronicus, Olivier's death scene in Coriolanus, <laughs> Patrick McGowan in um, Brand, and all these great performances, and he'd talk his way through them and what their interpretation had been. Yeah. That must have been uh, That was like a school. That right, was yeah. like a little, you know, I, I learned a lot. Yeah. I learned a lot listening to him tell stories. I listened to him change, the way he would change the stories depending on who he was talking to. Uh, I mean, it's the same as, you know, you know, like if you're, listening, you're telling a story to somebody and you hear them sort of being tickled by a part of the story and you slightly embellish that part of it, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I learned a lot from, uh, from him listening to him, watching him do that. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.